The Manny Ameriquin EQ from Waves is free. That's right, free for you for 48 hours from the launch of this video, which is February 12th, 2024 at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Within the next 48 hours, if you see this video, go over, hit up the link in the description below. You can get the plugin for free from Waves. And this is just a little way that Waves is helping me say thank you to all you guys for reaching 100,000 subscribers here on my channel. So huge thank you, Waves. Go on over, pick it up. I'll show you how to get it installed a little bit later in the video. But first, I want to jump into Resolve and show you a few examples of how this EQ works and why, if you are a little scared about working with some EQ, this plugin A, does a great job, and B, makes it really easy for you to get some better audio and better EQ on your clips. So let's head on over to Resolve and check it out. The first thing I want to do is show you where to find it once it's installed, how to put it on a track, and then a quick overview of the plugin of what it is and how it works. So let's jump over in the Fairlight, musical notes at the bottom. Now I want to apply it to my audio track one to get started here. So make sure you have your mixer open, mixer right here. You want to come down to your effects, click on the little plus, come down to EQ. You're going to go to VST. Now I have a whole bunch of EQ plugins here from Waves, but right here it's gonna say Manny M EQ. And I have a mono track in this case, so it's gonna say mono. If you have a stereo track, it's gonna say stereo. So go ahead and click on the effect. And once that effect gets added on, it's gonna pop up and this is what it looks like. Now, one of the reasons why I chose this plugin to give you guys is because it makes EQ really easy. It's based on a whole bunch of different awesome hardware uh, EQs that Manny Marroquin has used over his career. And he really combined a whole bunch of awesome stuff into one easy to use plugin. So if you don't know where to get started at all, coming at the top here, you can just click on the drop down, and you've got a bunch of presets in here. And one of the ones that I like to use just to start out of the gate is the bright male vocal for me. Now, if you're a lady, then go ahead and try one of the female versions, and those will probably work out pretty good for you. But you can see it can also be used on various instruments, and there's other uh, things that you can apply this EQ to. It's not only for vocals or dialogue. But before I select one of those presets, let's just run over our window here for our effects so you can see what's going on. Starting on the left here, we've got our input levels. So you can adjust your input level if you want. Typically, I'm going to leave this at zero, but you've got the option to either raise or lower that. Next here, we have a high pass filter. Now, a high pass filter says anything that's below a certain point that I set, take that out. I don't want it. Let everything that's higher than it pass through. So on our high pass filter here, you can see we can grab this dial and we can crank it all the way up. I mean, as high as you want, all the way up to about 750 is as high as it goes. So for dialogue, you're typically, typically gonna wanna go around eh, 120, maybe bring it up a little bit more depending on your particular dialogue or your vocal. You gotta see how it sounds and we'll get into that in a minute. The next section here is low end frequencies. We can boost them or reduce them. So the top gain one here allows us to boost if we go up or cut if we go down. And you can see the positive and negative numbers there, whether you're boosting or cutting. The bottom frequency number here allows you to change the frequency. Now it's got preset frequencies for you. And this is based on Manny's experience and where the best ranges are to use the particular you know, EQ processing that he's used in his career. So I trust him because he knows way more than I do, right? So you've got your 50 hertz, which is your low, low frequency stuff. You've got 100, 140, 220, and 250 there. You're gonna see how we're gonna just try these different things out and see how it sounds on our clip and then kind of decide to where to go from there. The next section here, frequency two, is your low to mids. So we start around 250. We've got 320, 400, 800, and 1.5K. So again, you're going to pick wherever you want to either boost or cut those frequencies, and we can boost or cut right here. One thing I didn't mention is that the yellow lights up here are actually buttons. You can turn that particular frequency on and off if you want to. In frequency three here, we go from 800, 1.6K, 3.2K, 5K, and 8K. And for our high frequencies here, we go 10K, 12.5K, 15K, 20K, and 25K. And down here, we have the option to use either a bell-shaped curve or we can use a shelf if we'd like to do that. And finally, over here, we have a low-pass filter, and this is going to remove anything that's above the number that you set on this dial here. So it's going to remove high frequencies and allow everything below it to pass through. And again, you could just click hold and drag it down, and you can change it to whatever you want it to be. 
Finally here, we've got an output knob where we can boost or reduce our overall output of the effect. Sometimes when you process something in an effect like this or any other effect, you might lose a little bit of that gain or volume uh, as the dialogue comes out of the effect. So here you can boost it back up. So let's hear it on some dialogue. Now this is dialogue from the intro of this video. I'm just gonna start with the preset, the bright male vocal. And I'm gonna start with it off, play through a little bit, and I'll turn it on and see if you can hear the difference. Good headphones are gonna help make a difference for you so you can hear it a little bit easier. So if you got them, throw them on and uh, here we go. The Manny Mariquin EQ from Waves is free. That's right, free for you for 48 hours from the launch of this video, which is February 12th, 2024 at nine. So can you hear the difference there? It definitely cleans it up and does a, a pretty good job with it. Now let's say maybe I wanted to tweak it a little bit, maybe for my low end frequencies, I wanna to come to 140 and boost it a little bit lower. Around 800 is I think a good spot to make a cut like it did here. Um, let's play through and you can hear the difference that it makes if I boost it or reduce it. 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So within the next 48 hours, if you see this video, go over, hit up the link in the so a lot of times in that 800 range, like it's going to sound a little boxy-ish. And for my, vo my vocal, my dialogue, it sounds better if I kind of cut it down in that area a little bit. Now, the other place that I might like to make a little cut is in the 1.6 to 3K range. So on our second frequency here, I'm going to actually change that to 1.6. I'm going to raise this up and drop it down and we'll see what kind of difference it makes. Description below, you can get the plugin for free from Waves. And this is from Waves. And this is just a little way that Waves is helping me say thank you to all you guys for reaching 100,000 subscribers. All right, so I think that sounds pretty good. And finally, we've got a little brightening, a little bit of sparkle on the voice, a little bit of clarity, if you will. So this is set at 20K. And for speaking dialogue, that's a little, little high, I think. Um, so I'm going to come down to maybe 12 or 10 and then do this little boost here and just see, see what that does and see how it sounds subscribers here on my channel. So huge thank you, Waves. Go on over, pick it up. I'll show you how to get it installed a little bit later in the video. But first, I want to jump into Resolve and show you a few examples of how this EQ works and why, if you are a little scared about working with some EQ, this plug... All right, I think that's pretty good. I like it around 10K, and it sounds like it just adds a little bit of crispness and clarity to my vocal, my dialogue. And finally, we've got our low-pass filter. So when I'm just working with some dialogue, I don't need really high-end stuff, right? I don't need the high-end frequencies because it's not like a singing vocal of somebody who's got a higher frequency range of voice. So I could drop this back to, I don't know, 18K or something like that, just to knock out any of that high stuff that I just don't want. So now I'm gonna watch my meters here as well as down here, and we're gonna see how's our levels looking. And if I need to boost or reduce the output, I could do that. So I'm gonna just come back a little bit and let's see what we got. First from the launch of this video, which is February 12th, 2024 at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. All right, so I think that's pretty good. We did boost the output a little bit there. Now here's a quick little before and after. I think it made a good job. It was really quick, it was easy. You don't have to know a whole lot. You just use your ears right here and listen and make some small adjustments. So here's a little before and after. For reaching 100,000 subscribers here on my channel. So huge thank you, Waves. Go on over, pick it up. I'll show you how to get it installed a little bit later in the video. Sounds great. I think that sounds great. So now you're thinking, well, what if I'm running gunning and I just have a microphone on top of my camera? Of course, it sounds good in your studio. What about that? So I've got an example here. We're going to take a look at that. I've got a stereo track this time. I'm going to go over to my mixer, click on the plus. We're going to come down to EQ, add in the Manny MEQ. And now I'm actually, I'm just going to go ahead and start with the bright male vocal and we're going to see how it sounds from there. So here we go. A little before and then after. So the EQ, of course, works in the studio when we've got a good setup. But what if we're outside, run and gun, we've got a microphone on top of our camera. Can we use the EQ on it? Yes, we can. Here's what it sounds like when we put it on this clip, what it sounds like. It's going to do a good job for you. It's going to take out the guesswork out of trying to figure out what to do with the EQ. It's just going to make your clip sound better. So what do you think? Do you notice a difference? Does it sound good to you? Good setup. But what if we're outside, run and gun, we've got a microphone on top of our camera. Can we use the EQ on it? Yes, we can. Here's what it sounds like when we put it on this clip, what it sounds like. It's going to do a good job for you. It's going to take... There you go. I think that sounds pretty good. It did a good job of cleaning it up. It was quick. It was easy. It took like no time, right? So really quick and easy. And then finally, I've got a singing vocal here um, of a male voice. And here's kind of what we can do with that. So I'm going to go ahead and add it onto my track. So back in my mixer. Click on my effects, EQ, VST, Manny, MEQ. So let's just play through, try and adjust this one all on our own and see how it does. I'm going to loop my playback here, my range tool, select this, make sure my looping is turned on right here. And I'm going to hit my space bar so we can make a little edit here. Oh, there's nothing. 
better than you. There's nothing better than you, Lord. There's nothing. Nothing is better than you. There's nothing better than you. There's nothing better than you, Lord. There's nothing. Nothing is better than you. There's nothing. All right, a little before and after. Better than you. There's nothing better than you. I think that cleans it up really quick and really easy. You don't have to look for frequencies. Just play with the knobs, use your ears, listen to what's going on, and this EQ plugin is just going to make your dialogue or your vocals or really even any instruments sound a whole lot better really quick and really easy. I can't thank Waves enough for giving this plugin to you guys for free for 48 hours to anybody who can jump in there and grab it. Let's see how you install it here. So when you go to the Waves website, you're going to need to install something called Waves Central, and that's going to allow you to install the plugin. Now you will have to sign up for an account with Waves, so if you're not comfortable doing that, you're not going to be able to get the plugin, but go ahead and sign up with an account and then come on to their website. In the search bar up here, I'm going to search Waves Central. That should bring me to here, download Waves Central. I'm going to come on, click on that link right there. You can go ahead and download it for Windows or for Mac. And there's a little quick start guide here to tell you how to get it going. If you want to check out the EQ plugin on their website, just search for it right up here in the search bar. When you type in Manny, you're going to see it right here, Manny Marroquin EQ. And then you've got some information here about it. You can check it out and learn a little bit more about the plugin itself. If you use the link in the description below, you should be able to get the plugin for free. And once you install Wave Central and you get in here, you should be able to go to install products and you'll either see it here or you may have to search for it by coming to all products. Or you can come up here, click on the little search, search Manny, and then you'll see it over here, Manny Marquin EQ. And it should come up free for you. So you can go ahead and click on that and then you would come over here and click install. Now, I've already got it installed on my machine, so I'm not going to go ahead and do it now. But once you do that, make sure DaVinci Resolve is closed. And once you open up Resolve, it should find it automatically for you. But if for some reason it doesn't, here's how you can make sure that it's loaded up in DaVinci Resolve. Back in Resolve here, if you go to DaVinci Resolve Preferences, and in our Preferences here, make sure you're on the System side, and then come down to Audio Plugins. Now you're going to see some folders here where your audio plugins live and it should automatically find that. But if it doesn't, you can go ahead and click add, go find where your plugins are. You can see where mine are right here and then go ahead and add that in and you should be good to go. You may have to close resolve and open it back up again, but you should be good to go. And available plugins down here, if you don't see the one that you want checked on, just go ahead and click on the check there, turn it on, and then you should be good to go. You should be able to find that plugin in the mixer. And a quick note about the plugin, you can apply it in the mixer just the way we talked about, or if you come to your effects library, you open that up and you go to your audio effects and then VST effects. If I scroll down right here, I have the Manny M EQ mono and Manny M EQ stereo. So I can click, hold and drag this onto a track and put it on a track level, or I could drag it to a clip to put it on just an individual clip. Depends on what you want to do, but you've got the option to do it either way here in Fairlight. Or in the edit tab, you can also open your effects library here and drag and drop it onto a clip or onto a track, which you can then open up and make changes to. So you've got a lot of different ways that you can use the effect here in DaVinci Resolve. A huge thank you to Waves for giving me this to give to you guys for free for 48 hours. I hope that all of you guys, all 100,000 of you guys, jump in there, grab this plugin. It's great. I, I love Waves. They've been a great partner for me uh, over the last few years, and they just have a ton of awesome stuff. Whether you're working with dialogue, music, instruments, it doesn't matter. You're trying to master your audio for your project. Waves has tons of awesome plugins on there. So if you are looking for anything, I'd recommend you jump on there and check it out. But definitely go pick up the Manny M EQ for free because it's awesome. It makes re EQ really easy. And uh, it's, just, it's just a quality product that I think is awesome. So that's why I selected that one to give to you guys. All right, with that said, guys, 48 hours. Tell your friends, go grab that free plugin. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video with some good EQ. Peace.